I always grew up in an environment where I thought a part of life was serving others. And so that has that shaped my thinking. It's shaped how I've gone about uh, public service and giving of myself and even how I've approached uh, ministry and my place in the community. I was raised here in Baton Rouge, just shy of my third birthday until my 17th birthday by the Sisters of St. Joseph. And um, I was on the receiving end of the philanthropists in the community through all those years, but the sisters always said, you've got to give back. I guess I've been trying to do it ever since. I would have to say that it was a conspiracy between my mother, who was a Montessori teacher in New Orleans, and uh, the Ursuline nuns. And I say it was a conspiracy because she very much wanted me to be in an environment where uh, people would be taught about community service and identifying community problems and opportunities, really, not just problems, uh, to make the world a better place. And they definitely uh, taught us that, but they taught us that as much through their actions and by being role models and giving us experiences which were very powerful. I think it was my family. We didn't have a lot of money, but my family was always involved, from the church to the PTA to community events, we were always a part of that and I think it instilled in me that uh, need and belief that we should give back and participate in the community. The idea that you can't make the world a better place without participating, without, without giving of yourself and it's something that we tried to instill in our children. Uh, we've pretty much got them involved in things since they were in middle school and, and elementary school, just the concept of volunteering and becoming a part of the community. I grew up in Lake Charles and I watched it as I was younger, how the community evolved and it occurred to me that if the people that I kind of knew and hung out with hadn't done anything, the community would never have evolved. And so, plus I was taught by my family that you're supposed to give. If those who give more receive more and all of that sort of thing. My mother, Scott Barton, um, sister Annette, lived in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and mother was there visiting her, and Spartanburg had a community foundation. And mother brought the idea back home to Baton Rouge and discussed it with my father, John, who, uh, they both realized the real importance and need for a community foundation. And so my father then went to 10 uh, community uh, leaders and people that he knew had this same vision and, and realized that. And that is actually in 1964 where the Baton Rouge Area Foundation Community Foundation was founded. 